hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to talk about a crazy true love story so I hope you like this story guys and if you are new please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so guys this is the true to life love story of Linda Ries and Bert Pugach so, in 1959, Bert Pugach was a successful 30-something-year-old lawyer in New York City. He was driving with a buddy in the Bronx one day when he saw a gorgeous young woman sitting on a bench. He practically jumped out of the moving car to introduce himself to the beauty. So, the woman is a 21-year-old Linda Reese, a kind-hearted girl from a poor family. So dazzled by his wealth and charm, Linda agreed to go out with Bert, much to the delight of her lower middle-class family. Bert took her to the hottest clubs in New York City, showing her off to his jealous friends. Linda became absolutely smitten with the adoring older man. But one day, Linda found out that Bert was married with a very young daughter. She was heartbroken and disgusted. She broke off their relationship. Bert begged her to come back to him and even showed her some divorce papers to prove he was leaving his wife. Linda was about to relent, but because she loved Bert, but then her family's lawyer discovered that the divorce papers were fake. So Bert had no intention of leaving his family for her. Linda broke things off with Bert for good. So Bert begged her to come back. She wouldn't relent. He started to become obsessed with her. He called her apartment dozens of times per day. Uh, he called her family and her friends. He stood across from her apartment every day and he began to stalk her. He followed her everywhere she went. He even sent her a threatening note saying if he couldn't have her, nobody could. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Linda was frightened and went to the police several times. But in 1959, it was a time before stalking laws were in place. So there was no stalking laws during that time. So the police shrugged off the incidents and told Linda there was nothing she could do. So, meanwhile, Linda tried desperately to move on with her life. So, she soon met a very handsome young man and they become engaged. So, when Bert heard about the engagement, he was livid overwhelmed by jealousy and hatred he hired a few men off the street and whispered a plan to them so because he was so jealous and was so angry so one afternoon the door the doorbell rang at linda's apartment linda's mom answered it and called out her daughter that it was a delivery man with a wedding package. So when Linda came into the doorway, the fake delivery man threw acid in her face. Oh my gosh. So what happened guys is that the 23 year old beauty was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance and was there for several days so but it was too late 
she was blind and visually disfigured. So the incident, the incident made national news. So Bert was the most hated man in America that year. He received 14 years in prison. So despite the sympathy pouring in from millions of people, Linda's life was destroyed. Yeah, because she lost her beauty and she lost uh, some of her sight maybe the left or the right i don't know but one of the eyes got blind her fiance broke off their engagement not because linda was no longer beautiful but because he simply couldn't afford to take care of her now that she was visually handicapped for the rest of her 20s Linda dated various men, but the relationship all ended when she took off her sunglasses and revealed the horror underneath. Gosh. She became painfully depressed and incredibly lonely. She spent the next decade holed up in her tiny apartment in New York City, hating her life. So she become miserable who wouldn't be miserable guys you lost your beauty you lost your sight and during those years Bert never left her alone he called her from jail every week and wrote her letters every day he was still obsessed with her she couldn't escape him my god a man is so obsessed destroyed his life right in 1974 bird was released from jail and he immediately contacted linda desperate to see her in person against her better judgment linda accepted so he came out of prison and went to see linda again when she went to see bird for dinner he apologized for ruining her life and ask her to marry him oh my gosh <laughs> so the, the shocking news guys is that linda accepted gosh. although she hated bert for what he had done she could tell he was truly sorry and he still loved her plus she was lonely and living a squalor living in squalor so the finally divorced bert was a wealthy meal ticket who could take care of her she truly didn't believe she had anyone else she was desperate okay guys because she had many dates and then nothing really works so she was desperate so the two of them married that year so they got married guys imagine so their marriage shocked the entire nation in America they were the subject of every talk show news report and magazine article in the country that year because who would have thought guys that you would marry somebody who had ruined your life okay. who had uh, devised a plan to throw acid on your face who would do that oh my gosh so Linda's family and friends were appalled but Linda saw it a different way. She felt she finally had a man who still thought she was beautiful, despite the physical damage he had caused. So he felt she felt beautiful, guys. Plus, what better payback than to force him to see what he had done every single day of the rest of his life, right? So it that is a kind of a payback guys so their marriage appeared to be oddly blissful until 1997 so when a young woman accused Bert of threatening her life 
Although Linda was hurt when she discovered her husband had been having an affair with a woman, she was a character witness during the trial, stating her husband, husband wouldn't harm a fly. It worked because he was found innocent. Imagine that, guys. So, they their marriage has been enduring. Look at that. They're old now. Uh, so they stayed together until until the day that Linda died because of old age. So guys, thank you so much guys. Thank you so much guys for watching. And then if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.